Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Hello, fabulous superstar Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August, 2022. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month without a doubt big moves happening in the sky now. And this is a very important month for you. Now, I know it begins on somewhat of a high note because we did recently end July with a very fortunate new moon and that new moon was in your sign. You add to this the real breakthrough energy where it came to career and really big karmic opportunities that are likely finding you as you begin the month with the triple conjunction of the North Node, Uranus, and Mars. I spoke about that in last month's horoscope as well. Well, all of this does suggest that as you begin the month, there's a sense of the energy shifting and moving forward and onward and upward in a way that I think you will love. This month, the important lunar events in particular seem to be much more heavier, uh, consequential. And this is really um, necessary because ultimately this is about understanding what is and how you really feel about it, especially where it comes to your one-on-one -on -one alliances. If you think back, all of 2021, we had an energy that really characterized that entire year. And that was the Saturn-Uranus square. And for you, that energy certainly was playing out in terms of you understanding partnerships of all kinds. Now, business partnerships and professional alliances were a big part of this, but also romantic alliances as well, though I'll talk about that in just a little bit. Well, I feel like as we get to this month's full moon on the 12th of the month, all of those lessons, all of those feelings that likely were there in 2021 that characterized that year for you where it came to your one-on-one -on -one alliances, all of that is going to stir under the light of the full moon. That full moon is activating that very square, happening close in the sky with Saturn and speaking in a conversation of tension with Uranus. This full moon is in your opposite sign. It is going to bring the truth of a one-on-one -on -one alliance into focus in a way that is real, is honest, but may be very surprising as well. This becomes especially true if this is a person whom you are connected to through career, uh, through your career path, through your understanding of purpose and your alignment with purpose. So all of that comes together for you now. This can be powerful. As you see the truth in another person, this energy can be very all or nothing. Either established professional alliances will solidify as the two of you get more honest about the purpose of the alliance, where it is benefiting both of you, where it could improve. You're able to strengthen lines of communication and feel a shared sense of prosperity in the process. But where it is that that isn't the case, where it is perhaps that trust is no longer there, well, this can be very dramatic endings to certain professional alliances as well. The thing to remember is that you are in the midst of a longer term cycle. You've actually been in it since the early part of 2020 and we're sort of starting to near the end. It is going to be in March of next year that Saturn will leave your opposite sign. So you've had all this time to really think about and consider the truth of those one-on-one -on -one alliances in your life what they bring, what sacrifices are involved partnering with other people, where you strengthen another person, where they strengthen you, and where maybe that isn't the case, where you feel limited by the one-on-one -on -one alliances in your life. Well, all of that is going to stir now. It's going to be an important part of the larger learning that you've been in, but ultimately is going to be very all or nothing. Professional alliances and business partnerships that grow stronger now really take on very strong root. But those that don't, it really is okay as well. In some cases, there could be very dramatic breaks of business partnerships where it feels like someone leaves very suddenly. That is certainly possible at a time like this as well. 
If someone wants to go, let them. If someone wants to stay, you can decide whether or not that works for you. Whatever does happen, it is certainly part of a higher, more loving vision for your life. The people who are meant to support you in that journey will be there as we navigate further. It is going to be on the 27th of the month that we will have this month's new moon. Now, this new moon takes place in a financial part of your sky, having to do with money you earn, money you spend. It also has to do with self-esteem and self-worth, which is how most Leos are going to experience this energy. This new moon is fascinating. It is taking place uh, speaking in a conversation of tension with Mars with some precision. Mars is moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendship and group alliances. What I can say under this energy, friendship and money do not mix at this time. So you may need to be mindful of that. Ultimately, this is a new moon, which represents new opportunity. And so it may feel as if a friend presents you with new opportunity, but you're very cautious of and cognizant of where it is that things get a little bit messy here. It may be at this time that as a result of the behavior of someone that you work with within a group dynamic, it leads you to look for other new opportunities or to make changes in some way. Many Leos, though, are going to understand this in terms of understanding and defining prosperity differently, aligning your prosperity or being motivated to align prosperity with the higher wishes that you have for your life. And for others still, a lot of this energy is really going to play out in terms of understanding self-love and self-esteem differently, with greater depth, with greater nuance, and greater rootedness in personal strength. So all of that becomes possible now. If it feels like a friend challenges you, that could be part of what inspires you to understand self-love and self-esteem differently in the best possible sense as well. Now, where it comes to matters of love, important developments are set to take place. I feel like this is going to be an important turning point moment in the context of love and how you understand that there is an abundance of love available to you, that you have options available in love. is going to be a big part of the turning points that find you now. There's no settling with energy like this, that's for sure. And so what we have here, of course, is that full moon, that full moon happening on the 12th is set to be a real reality check moment as to where you are in love and how you feel about it. But it is the day before that full moon that Venus is going to move into your sign. This is a very big deal. Venus moves into your sign for about four weeks, once a year, and this is your moment. And Venus invites you to be a magnet, really. When Venus is in your sign, there's not a whole lot you need to do to feel like love is available to you. You just being yourself has a knack of attracting love now. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, I feel like that full moon is going to be more related to your understanding as to where you've been in love before, the resistance that you feel, the desire that you feel to know love again and in a renewed way, in a different way. Venus in your sign at the same time ensures that under the light of that full moon, chances are you will attract somebody who is part of this reality check moment for you that helps you to see where you are in love and why and how now you're ready to go in a more empowered direction, a direction that puts you and your understanding of your worthiness and of the love that you know you deserve, the love that you're that much more easily able to attract now at the forefront. For those of you just starting to date somebody, boy, is that full moon ever a moment of truth. The great thing is, is that whatever that truth leads to, it's like you are very aware that you have options available to you in love and you're feeling very connected to a spirit of love. So whatever needs to happen with this person, let it. It really is okay. If they need to stay. They need to go. It really is okay. That full moon is going to be a moment of truth without a doubt. And some Leos out there are going to find that that is a truth that comes about very suddenly, very much by surprise, but it is the truth nonetheless. And then you get to evaluate whether or not this is someone to navigate forward with. It is all or nothing. So either what you see now will really strengthen the bond that the two of you have moving towards partnership, or it'll have you very quickly realizing that you want to go in a whole other direction. It might also be someone brand new that you meet now that really feels as if they're a much better match for you. And for those of you in an established bond, well, again, we've got this moment of truth 
this all or nothing moment, the overwhelming majority of Leos out there are going to find this a time that very quickly strengthens the bond, helps the two of you feel that much closer together as a result of some very quick moving events. However, for a small percentage of Leos out there, if you've known for a while that you're not in the right relationship for you, it is under the light of this full moon that that becomes very obvious to you based on the behavior of this person. And from there, you get to decide the best way forward for you. Thankfully, with Venus in your sign, you're feeling connected to a spirit of love that helps ensure that your decision is grounded in that love as well. What I love about this month for you, wow, what a powerful astrological moment, I'll tell you. I love how the energy now moves you in a direction of understanding yourself differently, more deeply, more profoundly. Through partnership in particular, it is by seeing yourself reflected in the eyes of another that you get to have a more honest examination of whom it is that you are and what it is that you really want in all kinds of ways, including from the partners in your life as well, professional and personal. That doesn't mean that you take on any other person's opinion about you as your own, unless it is grounded in absolute love, but it does mean that you get to evaluate. You get to look at some truth about yourself and from there ensure that your life aligns with those principles of heart, those principles of love, especially the love that you deserve. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month with choose your membership rate at NadiaShawSuperstars.com where you get expanded exclusive video scopes, access to live events, higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. Choose Your Membership Rate is on right now at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. I look forward to meeting you there in the Superstar space. Link is in the description below. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.